Right now at 11, Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is asking for your help finding these two missing children. One of them, a 12 year old girl reported missing out of North Carolina two days ago. Thanks for joining us for First Coast News at 11. I'm Jeff Vallon. JSO says Ashlyn Early and Shimotit were spotted together last night near I-10 and Lane Avenue. Kaylee Tracy is on your side live in Duval County. Kaylee. And Jeff, I actually just spoke with Early's mother and she tells me that her daughter and the entire family don't have any connection to Jacksonville or Florida as a whole. She says that that is actually about a six and a half hour drive from their small hometown in Davidson County, North Carolina. She also tells me that they have not ever heard of or seen the 15 year old who is traveling with her that we are, have also heard from JSO is reported missing with her daughter. And JSO says that Teet is from Jacksonville. A spokesperson for the sheriff's office in Davidson County, North Carolina, says a family member reported early missing Friday around 7.30 p.m. after she left her house for a walk and never came home. She has brown hair and blue eyes and was last seen in blue jeans, a teal shirt, black and white checkered vans, and was wearing circular glasses. 15-year-old Teet is five feet tall, has brown eyes and black hair, and JSO and the Davidson County Sheriff's Office say they don't know who saw the two in Jacksonville yesterday and called law enforcement. Early's mom told me tonight that she has no idea how her daughter may have gotten to Florida, and she says she's a nervous wreck. She says her daughter, if she's listening, she wants her to hear this message. I know that this has to be scary for you, but not as scary as it is for all of us sitting here just praying that you're okay and just praying that you know that we love you and that not a moment has went by that we have not stopped looking for you and that we aren't mad. We just want to know that you're okay. We just want to know that you're you're safe and that you're not hungry, you're not cold, that no one's being mean to you. We just want to know that, that you're okay. And we want you to know that we love you and that I think you're the most beautiful girl in the world and I'm so proud of you. And I'm waiting on you and I will look for you every day until you're home. JSO is working with the Davidson County Sheriff's Office. If you have any information at all, you're asked to please call JSO. That number for you, 904-630-0500. For now, reporting on the west side, Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News on your side.